hello everyone how are you guys welcome back to my channel divine and gifted i am shay peace and prosperity to each and every one of you i hope you guys are having a fantastic day it's tuesday happy tuesday okay i am here to do the new moon in leo now understand that this new moon, this new moon in leo it, it starts off not playing with you okay um because it's going to put you in this energy of not really sure feeling unmotivated only because it's it's squaring off with uranus and taurus and so you you may feel and uranus is about to go in natural retro mercury i mean uh low it look mercury trying to come out like don't forget about me um uranus is about to go in retrograde so look listen just work with the energy the best way you can okay but um hello to all my beautiful new subscribers welcome if you're new here hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can know when i upload check out some of my shorts or that okay but let's hop right in. What message do you have for the collective? Working in the highest good for the highest favor. Okay, now what I was going to say was you guys may be feeling a little blocked in this energy or emotionally triggered in this energy. Work with it, flow with it, go with it. Okay, don't force anything. Allow yourself to feel what it is you need to feel while setting intentions to make you feel secure, to make you feel confident, to make you feel um, like you can persevere and, you know, just set those type of intentions when you're feeling like man i'm so lost or i don't know what to do or i'm trying to start this but i don't know how just i i know i have the guidance uh, guidance okay um yes so anywho let's hop right in you guys uh yeah now this this new moon is definitely wanting you to pay attention to your health these are energy blockages okay this new moon is wanting you to pay attention to your health uh, health sorry look and then help so some of you guys are needing to open up and ask for help ask for guidance okay um but with this health card it says i will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul so what are you going to do this new moon to take care of your body your mind and your soul okay that is the main thing here um and also have you been carrying on have you been have you been holding on to stress and what has been stressing you out what has been overwhelming you um is it your thoughts is it people that you show up for is it you taking on such a heavy workload like what is it and and understand that your body is calling you out right now so if you are feeling tired drained and fatigued this is your body's way of telling you like this new moon is bringing out this energy is highlighting this energy so you can go in and say you know what i need a break you know what? I need a refresher. You know what? I need a medicine. You know what? I need to do yoga. You know what? That meal prep that I was going to do for myself, I need to go ahead and start that. You know what I mean? So um, can I have a few more energy blockages for the collective? Now we have honesty. Now for some of you guys, I feel as though your throat chakra is blocked. Okay. This honesty card is coming out because it's challenging you to speak your truth. It's challenging you to speak up for what you want. It's challenging you to affirm what it is you need, especially with this fiery ass energy. It's challenging you to hone in on your truth, whatever it is. And some of you guys need to wash your tongue, wash the things that you're asking for, because you may be either being too specific or not specific enough. Just have your dream and do your research on the things that you need to obtain the things that you are going towards and now um, it says i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect the truth from myself now i feel as though some of you guys are looking or wanting communication or you're wanting somebody to open up and be honest about their feelings or um <clears throat> how they feel about the situation or how they feel about you so on and so forth it's gonna resonate differently with everybody so take it how take it how you need it and leave what you don't take what you need leave what you don't okay but i just feel as though some of you guys are looking for truth or you're looking for answers from pe things, people out things that are outside of you 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 could some of you guys could be looking for validation or you guys could be looking to receive some type of accolade or recognition and this honesty card is asking you to be truly a wholeheartedly honest with yourself in its energy because if you're looking for someone else to speak their needs or to express how they feel about you um give them the space to do that and they're going to tell you how they feel when they're ready. You can't force that energy. But if you're also looking for recognition or looking for your kudos and you have to ask yourself, okay, so 
is this is me is this desire is this need is this want coming from my ego is my ego wanting to be stroked right now okay because sometimes it do be wanting to be stroked i ain't even gonna hold you okay so just go ahead and check in with yourself and also this honesty card when it comes to looking for um recognition or looking for validation on outside of you is oh what was that that was all my cards really um not all of them but some of them you're looking for validation on the outside of you. Look, and some of you guys are being distracted. This is a distraction. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't even know what I was saying. Some of you guys are looking for validation on the outside of you. You're looking for recognition. You're looking for, I know I'm on the right path, but I need a sign or I need this person to tell me I'm on the right path or blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. Listen to your intuition. Because, because you're not able to openly express and trust your steps you're actually blocking your throat chakra and your intuition at the same time okay now we have the adversity card that came here now some of you guys are really taking a whooping okay you have been taking a whooping or your back has been up against the wall and you're you're constantly fighting different mini battles okay and i also feel as though some of you guys are pushing way too hard it says i accept the challenges are the best way to learn now i just feel as though with this adversity card you're being challenges to know when to fight and know when to not to fight to know when to step up to know when to speak to know when it's too much that's why the health card with the honesty card here with the adversity because you're facing so many different challenges or you're stepping up in so many different ways but you have to learn what is necessary and what is not and when it's necessary and how it's not okay I just want one more. Can I get one more energy blockage for the collective? Um, that's too many. Can I get one more energy blockage for the collective? For this new moon in Leo. Current energy. Now, I ain't gonna hold you. This worry card came out earlier in my short. And some of you guys are too busy focused on the outcome of the situation or how something is an unfolding to where you can't see the small, minute little blessings in between. Um, or that's something that you need to work on, uh, being, being more grateful for the smaller things, okay? Um, but this worry card is when your focus is too much on the outcome of the situation or when it's too focused on things outside of your control then you're not focused enough on the seeds that you're planting so they're going they're in a drought they're in a drought they're in a drought they're in a drought because your worry is here oh it's not doing this it hasn't happened now it just you know when you plant your seeds your seeds need reassurance. Your seeds need watering. Your seeds need for you to take out the weeds, the things that you don't, the people that you don't need, the thoughts that you don't need, the energies that you don't need, the 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 behaviors that you don't need, the inconsistencies that you don't need. And when you are over here focused on why it's not manifesting or how it's, how come it's not happening or X, Y, and Z, that means that your seeds are left unguarded. So this means that someone else can come and uproot. This means that someone else can come and claim. This means that someone else can step into your shoes and take what's yours um well not physically take but you know they can try they definitely will try they will definitely try and claim claim something that does not belong to them okay because we're so worried on the outcome of the situation so with this worry card spirit is asking you to redirect your focus up in this leo energy redirect your focus focus on the things that you can control take your health more serious however that needs to resonate for you be honest and open with yourself and do not over don't overextend yourself by facing more adversities than you need okay now um i really want you guys to be confident in who you are so i need you guys to know that I am in alignment with my purpose. I know I'm in alignment with my purpose. I see me flourishing because I'm in alignment with my purpose. I feel so good because I'm in alignment with my purpose. I um, know, feel, see. I can't even think of the rest of them. I should have wrote them all down, but what else I got over here? It says, I know I'm exactly where I need to be. I see beautiful, radiant energy um all around me i feel beautiful radiant radiant and abundant i trust myself i trust my intuition i trust the divine timing of things i understand that nothing is outside of my range but unless my unless 
unless I get into my own head. Like nothing is outside of that. I don't know where I was going with that, but sis, I was going somewhere. I had that butt in there, but I don't know what that butt was for. Like I, I look, don't be talking yourself out your blessings. Okay, listen here. So anywho, um, I do want to pull, let's see. <clears throat> Just on your energy blockages alone. Can we get the best advice? Damn. Family dynamic reconcile reconcile. Okay. It says your family is requiring is requiring a time to heal issues that have created a wedge or unrest. We all need support as we help as we move. They're gonna help word again. We all need support as we move forward and have an open and loving family unit is essential. So I don't know who that's for, but I don't feel like that is, uh, that's giving me what I need to be given right now. Okay, Spirit, what is the message for the collective? Please and thank you, best advice for these energy blockages. Okay, partnerships and support. Okay, so I believe the family card came out because... Right now, you've really been trying to focus on family dynamics or that is something that's really weighing heavy on you. And some of you guys are um, are still holding on to core values that was passed down to you or core values that you developed while you were in survival mode. And now it's time for you to break free from th these things and recreate yourself, recreate the, rec recreate core values, recreate tradition, okay? <clears throat> this partnership and support says you are being guided to reach out to form partnerships and alliances to expand your vision and perspective. Take this time to see who comes in your life that is offering to assist you with your endeavors. Asking for help, 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 help. Asking for help often leads to accomplishing your goals more quickly. Now, I feel as though some of you guys are needing to ask for help, okay? From whoever it is that you need to ask help from, okay? You guys are just needing to ask for help. The, the When you feel as though you can do everything by yourself that is the time to where you are being triggered the most because you automatically set yourself up like oh nobody ever shows up for me so i have to do this i don't want to be let down blah blah, blah x y and z you're met you're manifesting you're you're calling this energy into fruition when you are afraid to ask for help from outside sources okay um yes so Can we get some, um, can we get the overall energy for this new moon in Leo? I'll just take three beautiful cards, please. And thank you for the collective overall energy for this new moon in Leo. Overall energy. Overall energy, please. Your hard work is paying off. Now, this your hard work is paying off. I'm getting the word patience with this. Patience, 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 patience. Take your time. And this is New Moon Capricorn. Take your time. Patience. Your hard work is paying off. Even though you can't see it, you can't see it because of your perspective. It's time for you to shift and change your perspective to be pay attention to what is working and what has worked. And like I said, some of you guys are needing to really pay attention to the small, minute things that's going on in your day to day life and start giving yourself your you're looking for accolades or you're looking for recognition from everybody else. When you need to start giving that to yourself on a daily basis, when you can start congratulating yourself, patting yourself on the back, showing up for yourself in that way. You if you can't do it for yourself, then how do you expect other people to do it for you? OK, let's just go. Let's just leave that there. OK, if you can't do it for yourself, how do you expect if you don't know when to give yourself the the gratitude and the appreciation? How do you expect to receive that from other outside people? OK, look at the bigger picture here. Like I said, some of you guys are you, you guys are not. You guys are not focused enough on what is already happening, what's already unfolding. And this look at the bigger picture of spirit asking you to shift and change your perspective, to be more aware, to be more open. And the more you become more aware, the more you become more open, the more energy, the more in the energy you are of receiving. Okay. Um, you can give me one more. Whoa. And then we have a new start is coming. Okay. A new start is coming. So between now and November, between now and November, a new start is coming. What the hell are you waiting for? 
So I don't know if you guys are like, why well, I gotta wait all the way to November? I have no idea. But the energy is gaining momentum. Step outside of your comfort zone. So let's be clear. This energy up here is challenging you to go for what it is you should truly wholeheartedly want on every level of your existence. Do not suppress any part of you, okay? Because that creates blockages. Your hard work is paying off because spirit is asking you to continue the steady drumbeat. Look at the bigger picture. It's saying sometimes you don't see the whole picture because you're focused only on one aspect of the picture, okay? That's why I said on every level of you, do not focus only on one specific area. Focus on the whole pictures. Take a step back. Look at it. Get a wide view, okay? And then a new start is coming. When you are able to see bigger or when you're able to see more of what is going on than what by not focusing on one specific area, you will see you have an a plethora of abundance of so so many different opportunities okay i don't know what was trying to come out but you will have so many different opportunities that you you didn't even know was there before but because you weren't looking you were looking but you weren't you didn't have the right perspective your vision was blurred okay it, it, it was distorted you couldn't see clearly because you were focused on the worry the things that you lack the things that isn't happening or the timing of it all so you couldn't see clearly, okay? I can see clearly now, the rain is gone. Challenge yourself to go out there and, and step outside of your comfort zone and to step into whatever new beginning is here. It's time to take action here at the bottom, period, okay? Let's see, I do wanna look into love. Love on a two-way street. Okay, listen, I don't know. Some of you guys may have some choices or something like that to choose from. So when it comes to collective, what is going on with the collective? What is going on with them when it comes to love? Worth waiting for. Forgiving and learning. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Honeymoon make the effort bottom of the deck we have attraction overall energy is calling in your soulmate okay <clears throat> why when i get to the love portion i gotta clear my throat okay this lets me know that someone is not speaking the truth or it's not even not that they're not speaking the truth that they're afraid to say how they feel or to speak how they feel or they like i said some of you guys have a blockage in that throat chakra and you guys are needed to have honest communication not only with yourself but the people that you have been keeping the truth from because you're afraid of hurting their feelings you're afraid of how they're going to perceive you or what so have you okay but this work waiting for forgiving and learning is that while you were focusing on yourself, you were calling in your soulmate and you didn't even know. Um, or you were being forced to focus on yourself because this forgiving and learning is as you release the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So there is a part of you that was that was that was being cleansed. You were purging, you were breaking free from cycles and stuff like that. Like you were closing out these karmic cycles. And as you were closing out these karmic cycles, you were calling in your soulmate. That's why it's the overall energy. And I need you to know that you have a new beginning coming here with this work waiting for. And it's going to be something that you, I feel like some of you guys already know what it is. But this worth waiting for, it's like it's going to be well worth the wait because when it comes in, you're going to be ready. This honeymoon and make the effort. Now, I feel as though some of you guys are needing, you guys have a situation or you guys have a person in mind or something like that. You guys are needing to go out on a date. Okay, this honeymoon and make the effort is make the time, take the time to spend with each other. Okay, so if you can do that, um, some of you guys are needing to open up and have heart to heart conversations with one another. And that's why the honesty card kept keep, keeps coming back. Okay, um, calling in your soul and maybe release your ex now. Okay, 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 okay. While you were releasing your ex, while you were clearing karmic cycles, 
you were calling in your soulmate. Your soul was yearning for something better, something deeper, something more um, loving, secure, okay? I can't make this shit up. I cannot make it up, okay? Okay, I can't make this up. Engagement, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Reconciliation, I told you, some of you guys already know what it is. Some of you guys already know what it is, but whoever this whoever this is for, this honeymoon and make the effort, some of you guys are needing to really connect with your partner on a more deep, intimate level. Now, for some of you guys, you guys need to get a little spicy in the bedroom, okay? I don't know who that's for, but some of you guys need to get a little spicy in the bedroom, okay? So just spice it up a little bit. But others of you guys, um, I don't know if there is... Um, there's something to do with some water, clouds. So, you know, some of you guys could, huh. Some of you guys, th there is something here with um, like views or something like that. There could be water involved, maybe a beach or a lake or something like that. I have no idea. But enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together now. And then it says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Now, for some of you guys, this make the effort is you're being intuitively nudged to guide it to open up your heart or to go in another direction, go out dating or what so have you. But you're being guided. You feel this in your soul, but you're telling yourself no, because you're afraid of commitment. You're afraid you don't you you feel like I don't know if I can be loved this way or I don't know if I can love them how they need to be loved or I don't know what's the black here what's the blockage when it comes to love if this failure card come out I'm, a, I'm 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 going crazy what's the blockage for what's this blockage for when it comes to love low head what's the blockage friendship one more This is exactly what I said. Envy here at the bottom of the deck with abundance. Now, you have haters in your midst. You have someone that's spewing hate negativity or they don't have anything good to say about your love life. Or this is like they are ready to see you sad or they don't know what it's like to have certain things. So they don't have anything good to say. Have a very biased opinion with this envious en energy here. And it's not saying that they are hating on you, but they don't know what real love is. They don't know what true love is. They don't know what it is. So when you go and you talk to them, um, they may not they may be coming from a sour place, okay? Or they may be coming from a very, like, I don't know, like, mm, just just be careful. Now, I also feel like the love that you are coming, that you're connecting with, the love that's coming in, the love that you're about to reconcile with, the love that you're about to meet or what so have you, this is going to be a very envious love. Like people are going to be hating. You're going to have naysayers. And this could be something that you or your person is worried about. You're worried about what other people are going to say or think about you guys' relationship here with this envious car. Listen, that is a blockage. And this is something that's coming from within you. You, 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 or your person. Your person is worried about what others are going to say and think about your guys' commitment. But understand that that has nothing to do with you. You don't want to let other people stop and block you from your happiness and success because you're worried about how they're going to receive your love from another person what that don't even make sense okay on everything it don't it don't it don't make no sense and then we have abundance here so you don't want to let this envious spirit because envious it can show up in many different ways through many different people you understand me 2323 don't let this block your abundance here okay but it's just it's like it's just basically what I was saying. You have this fear card, so someone is afraid to let love in. Someone is um when it comes to love, when it comes to emotional support, when it comes to giving and receiving love, when it comes to how they show up for people and how people show up for them, their view, their their everything is a little distorted. And they have a hard time with accepting that they can be loved and accepting that they know how to give love. That's what I'm getting from this accepting card. And this is because of how their relationships was in the past. That's why the friendship card is here. Now, because this person has been hurt in the past, they are afraid of making the same mistakes or afraid of repeated cycles or patterns now understand that if you collective are the person that is afraid of feet that that has this fear of opening up your heart or going after love or allowing love in or choosing a partner understand that you're setting yourself up for failure based upon your mindset 
So if you think, dang, I don't want to make the same mistake again, so I'm going to block, I'm, or, or maybe this is something that's happened subconsciously that you're not even aware of. But what I'm seeing here is that right now, spirit is challenging you to choose love. Spirit is challenging you to choose love. Spirit is challenging you to accept to accept an offer or to accept that you are ready to make an offer. And sometimes it doesn't look how you think it should look. And that's the fear because you have limitations and expectations or you're already prejudging the situation before it actually unfolds. Okay. But understand that the person, this is twin flame energy, this friendship card, understand that the person that you're connected to or the person that's coming in or what so have you, they're your person. And they're going to trigger you to challenge you to break free from this norm. Okay. <clears throat> I'm about to go. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. That's the friendship card. The Ace of Swords. The truth is always going to be revealed. I also see victory and success coming here. I also see um, a renewed mind. Um, you're going to have a burst of energy and I'm going to feel like it's going to be creative. You're going to know exactly what to do, how to do it. You're going to be able to look at your future and go after it. Now, this not this King of Swords is telling you that now is the time to start planning ahead, okay? Now is the time. Look, I'm going to tell y'all like me, I'm, I've never made a business plan, but I'm really working on doing my research to create a business plan okay now this five of cups is spirit reminding you do not let the past hold you back okay do not keep crying over spilled milk do not hold on to guilt resentment shame defeat deceit all that to let it go okay this is going to stop and block you every time every time you start thinking about the past and how um it could have been or it should have been or it would have been or if this and that if that this then then okay it's not going to do you any good by focusing on here. Now, you do have a path here that you need to choose because the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords is Two of Swords. You do have a path that you need to choose, but you are very much aware of the path because of the Two of Swords. You are putting yourself in a mental prison. You are hanging yourself up. You are afraid to go into the unknown. You are afraid of adaptation and change. You, 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 based upon past experiences, based upon people letting you down. But the change that's coming in is inevitable because you have the Five of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Listen, do not set yourself up for failure because you are afraid of your own truth. You're afraid of your own truth because you've been living in denial too long. Okay. With this five of swords, going from the five to the 10 of swords is crazy. That means that sometimes you tend to, um, it's like you get so caught up in blaming yourself to where you never fully accept accountability for the things that you need to accept so you can be able to heal and move on. Now, I don't know if that makes sense, but when you blame yourself, like I could have did this, I should have done this, or if I wouldn't have did this, okay? Because to you, you're taking accountability, but accountability is I did this and this is how it affected me. This is what I learned. And now, because I've learned this lesson, I am able to go at this in a different way, to open up to this more. I am able to not close off here, to protect myself here, to speak my truth here, to stand into here. This Ten of Swords, sometimes you beat yourself up when you don't deserve it, okay? And can I get two more? Temperance. But the energies is balancing out. Yep, the energies is balancing out. I told you, I know how to read my cards. If it's one thing I know how to do, one thing's for sure, two things for certain. Okay, and some of you guys are really weighing heavy on happiness and success and what it's supposed to look like and how it's supposed to look like. Why don't you focus on how successful you are right now in this moment? You have success. You have abundance right now. What is it? What does it look like? What does it feel like? And when was the last time you said thank you to yourself? for showing up and doing you every day. This temperance card to the queen of pentacles is that you're coming into full cycle with who you are, where you are, how you are, okay? This temperance card is going to challenge you because you're about to mix the energies of what you know to be true and what you're passionate about. And these are all coming together to be able to push you to this energy. Queen of pentacles, king of pentacles, take it how it resonates, okay? But... How about to wrap this up? I'm about to go.
because I've been talking to y'all for a long time. Okay, let's see. Can we get a spirit? Uh, can we get a self love oracle, please, for the collective? Working in their highest good for their highest favor. What time is it? Because I'm supposed to go get my kids. Okay, um, self love oracle, please and thank you. <sighs> this is nice. This card just tried to come out. This says coexist. Be as sure as you are without harm to anyone or anything. Appreciate diversity as a part of nature. Variety is the spice of life. Give me one more. Whoa, I asked for one more. We have heal. It says wounds need to be acknowledged before they can heal, especially those unseen. Give yourself the time, the space, whatever is necessary to regain your wholeness. And this one right here is co-create. We had this one last week. This is finding a balance. It says working with others creates new possibilities. Cooperative relationships lead to greater growth. Okay. Stop and breathe is here at the bottom of the deck. So peace and prosperity to each and every one of you guys. Um, bye, loves.